I have an Adobe Photoshop tutorial that involves using a mask to create a layered file to give the impression of overlap. So I, I have an image that was downloaded, a high resolution image to replace this. And, and I want to create this composite in Photoshop so I can just pull it in and everything will be in the right position. So I create an FPO layer by exporting, exporting a PDF from my InDesign document. And I'm including the bleed. Then once my image, once my PDF is created, I pull it into Photoshop to be my base layer. I'm going to check the dimensions of this image. 4.145 and use the canvas cropping tool. to get it to the exact size I need. Then um, check the scale size of this background image, 60.47. And the size of this image is 11.52. So 11.52 times 0 0.60047. So it should be approximately 6.96. to get it near the size I need for my cover. Drag this. And make it transparent. And position it approximately, it doesn't have to be exact. and position my fork. Which is about 0.49 inches wide. I'm just going to make it about 50%. That's what it should be. I'll just drag it as is. Select, select, modify, contract, one pixel. Drag this over. Scale it to about maybe a little over 50 percent is good. Then position it roughly and I'm going to add a mask making sure that my swatch is black. And I'm going to mask this, this fork out. Capacity should be 100%. I'll get a little bigger brush, like 100. 
soft round brush. Then turning this layer off and increasing the opacity of this bottom layer. I'm going to start making this fork disappear. Make sure that my opacity is correct. Brush should be large enough for some of the larger areas. Then I just keep getting smaller as I go up. my fork a little more opaque and decrease the size of the brush. more. Now I can get closer to the edge here. switch to white and change it back to 10. Um, I guess these areas, these soft overlap areas, I'm just going to make fo all fork for now. And then switch it back to black and make it 50% opaque. switch it to white just so I can get this area a little bit softer. You can check and you can see it's it's softer on the edge. And then what I would do is turn it back to white, turn the brush back to white, make it much smaller, like two. Zoom in more. And you can see some of these areas up on top that are softer. Just 
the softer fuzz areas that are encroaching into the fork image. And so I use my, I, I subtract those er I subtract those areas from the fork. I add the napkin back onto those areas. And that 50% opacity, so I can just go over it a couple times until I get it looking more realistic. I'm using the X key to switch back and forth here. Capacity should be 100. Just make sure you cover you cover all the areas of the of the image. And then I'll save it. Now I'm just going to leave it as a Photoshop, but I can save it, save it, make it CMYK, flatten it when I do my final. Then pull my image in. I'll just show you this, this, this lay um, this page layout is rotated so I'll need to remove the rotation on this image here just to show and then I bring in my new Photoshop image, make it 100% and it should fit, it should fit exactly actually. I need to move this, I need to raise this to the exact dimensions of the image and then, oh, I'm going to set a rule and then Bring this up and make it 100% or make it fill the area and then lower this back down. And preview and that's it. You should, you should have everything in place and that's how I lay out a cover in Photoshop to create an overlap the impression of an overlap and position all the elements exactly how, as I had it in my InDesign composite. So that's it. I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching. 